think it came out of um, myself and B um, realizing that we had skills that other people didn't and that other people wanted uh, just from the way that we were raised um, in terms of you know not not being wasteful and you know that freedom to be creative um, uh, my mother would I think I, this is a, a philosophy I think she taught us that you, know, you can have anything you want you can make it yourself <laughs> so we we did see that other people were interested in that concept that freedom to create and also the freedom to not be restricted by the price of new, new resources and materials and things um, and that interest in second hand um, as well like learning how to alter clothing how to um, adjust it for their personality or their body shape was a big big starting point for us and do you feel this growing interest in this area definitely yes what do you think is driving that i think it's the the feeling that the answer is not in what you can buy but about making I guess expressing your yourself and being independent, like having the skills to be able to do it, do it yourself. Um, I think it's like Mitre Ten or you know a local hardware shop that's like at the tagline of like um, DIYs in our DNA. You know, it's the Kiwi lifestyle of um, you know self sufficiency and resilience and having the skills and independence. Um, and I think people are coming back to that in a creative way as well as the practical side of things. And do, how much of that do you think is driven by, you know, a, a search for meaning or, you know, a, mm. a need to use our hands to, mm. you know, the, the rhythm and the comfort of that? Oh, definitely. That's very much part of it. Um, I think people don't so much come into it seeking that, but that's, something that they're surprised that they find when they do get into it. Yeah, I think most people appreciate that fabric is such a tactile thing um, and it makes them feel good to touch fabric. So people kind of know that, um, but they don't realize how satisfying it is to have that achievement of having completed something yourself. But when they find that, when they do discover it, it's quite addictive, I think. Like they realize, hey, well, you know, this is, this is really exciting. I've finished this. I have a lot of pride in this. Um, I want to do more. Um, and yeah, it definitely makes people feel good. Um, and do you think you've had much impact on um, textile waste and you know the whole sustainability cause? Mm, I would like to think so, um, but I'm very much aware of how enormous the problem is, and I would say that we're barely barely a drop in the ocean kind of thing compared to the amount of waste there is. Um, but I think if we can do what we can do with a small sample of it, that might inspire more people to do more in other areas and it's a cumulative effect. So maybe, you know, we'll make a, a longer term difference um, by making people aware of what's possible in the short term, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm.